Good morning. It is time. It's time. Time to put up the Christmas tree. I'm so excited. My husband brought it from storage last night and we're going to put it up today. Am I going to decorate it? I don't know. I'm definitely going to put it up today. I have to kind of move some things like this plant here to make room for it. So this is going to be like a full on Christmas video. The holidays have officially arrived. So let's do this. You guys got my morning cappuccino my cute little pjs that i mentioned in my christmas shopping video i got my eye patches on and i'm a red d it's like the perfect fall gloomy day first thing first i have to find a place for this plant and then i have this olive tree that my cats ate all the leaves off of it was even like budding new leaves and my cats literally ate those too i'm like what the heck i'm also trying to film a youtube video so i'm trying to do like two things at once this should be fun not youtube video i am filming a youtube video but like a little tiktok <laughs> almost done i just need to change out the pillows i store them underneath the bed these i can already change out because i got some from walmart which i'll show you guys i also realized this bench when i took off the old pillows and the blanket is ridiculously dirty so we're gonna clean it i got this spot cleaner off of amazon it's the hover hoover clean slate my other one is in storage and i actually like this one probably more than the other one Just at the top let me show you how nasty the water is just from this little section here and keep in mind every like went through with this twice in the past two months like this is actually <laughs> disgusting and this is why i love having something like this especially to use on your couch your mattress you can probably even use it on curtains in between those like different attachments there's this silicone one which I'm not 100% sure what this one's for. Probably a certain type of fabric. This is the stopper that you use to rinse the hose. So it basically closes off the suction and it circulates in the hose, which I love because I wasn't able to do that with my other one. And then also this top comes off so I can clean all this nastiness under here. My other one didn't do that. And then there's this attachment here, which is a little scrubber and it's just a smaller crevice tool to get into crevices. I'm gonna dump this water out and then I think I'm gonna clean our little boucle stoves, stools in that room too because those need a cleaning as well. Maybe the couch, we'll see. I haven't done my makeup yet, but I did change my outfit. I got this new sweater from Old Navy and it's so cute. It's um, this chocolate brown color. They have it in different colors, but I love this color. I think it's so pretty with like a dark wash jean. These are the ones from H&M, the street like dark, dark denim. Almost looks like I'm out there in a chateau somewhere about to go skiing. I'm still working on my cold coffee. I'm not gonna wash the stools yet because my daughter needs it for homeschool. Let me show you the cute little Christmas pillows that I got from Walmart. So I got these decorative ones 
And these, I think they're $14, $15. These do not have a zipper. I posted this to my Instagram stories and somebody said it looks like a whoopee cushion. <laughs> now I can't unsee it. But they're all from the brand My Texas House. She has some really cute pillows for the holidays. And it's velvet. It has this really pretty, almost like a damask, but not really like a floral pattern. I'm going to put this in the living room along with this little, maybe I'll keep the gingerbread guy in here. The house, I mean. So this was another one. And then these three. This one's reversible. And it comes with the inserts and everything. And they all have zippers. Pretty well concealed. And I think some of them are like $15. Like this green one I think was $15. Such a good price. It's so beautiful. Comes in a dark red with these beading. I think it comes in a white. And then I got like this snowflake one. So these two right here, I'm going to put in the kids' room. I just didn't want to put them down right now because... It's still a little bit wet, but just kind of like show you guys a visual. Kind of like that. And then I have that green blanket from FabFitFun from the box. Maybe something like that. Just a little bit of something. And then I'm, I want to hang this wreath up outside. It's from Walmart. It looks super cute here, but then you can't actually like use the mirror. So I think I'm going to hang this up outside. I moved the plant in here. This was just like the best place for it. But let me show you the Christmas tree because it is so cute. So this is the theme. It's all red and I love it. Aviana, what do you think? I absolutely love it too. Isn't it so cute? I'm so happy with how it came out. That's how I feel when I... When something happens, then you have a vision. When you have a vision and it comes to life, it's like perfect. I gotta turn the Christmas tree a little bit because the bow, but this bow is from Michaels. It's sold out in red online. I think it's they still have it in white. You can probably find it in store. We just don't have Michaels nearby, so I bought it online. And then I got these little berry clips from Walmart as well. They have a little clip on them. Each one was like 98 cents. These little cuties were from Amazon. I got a pack of like 30 or something from Amazon. And I got these glass ornaments. They come with four, I think, clear ones, four matte ones, and then four glossy ones. And they also come with this little thing right here, tie, so you don't have to worry about getting a tie. And then I did this here. I think this is so stinking cute. I like the clear. You like the clear ones? And I'm so happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. Love, love, love. My kids' Christmas presents are going to come tomorrow. I ordered them ahead of time. Yay! I'm gonna peek at No, you are not peeking at them. Well, I, I want to show you guys my cute little coffee station as well. I have like a little mini wreath here. I can't find it, but I, once I find it, I'm gonna put the wreath here. Then I just put the bow there. I swapped out my coffee bean holder. So I keep my coffee beans. I mentioned this in my Christmas decor haul video when I went to Beals. I have one in the bathroom. I'll show you guys the bathroom. And then I just took out like my mug. Those are done. And last step is bathroom and pillows. My kids are all done with school, so I want to show you guys what I did here with the pillows. This is from last year. This is from the brand La Jolie Muse. This I got at Walmart last year, and it kind of ties into this pillow right here that I got at Beals when I went Christmas shopping. This is such a beautiful pillow. Look at the gold thread detail, and it was like, I don't know, $17 or something. A really nice size, and then this is the Walmart one. I'm going to put this one right here, and then I have my little picture frame. We're waiting on door panels still for our fridge. We ordered this fridge back in July, didn't ship till like, I don't know, September, and then the panels never got sent, and it's now it's November, and they're still not here. It's like a whole Samsung bespoke or whatever the brand is. It's just fun times, but today's kind of like a fix-it update. My husband's going through and fixing a lot of bunch of random stuff, like the AC in there, like little things around the house, so he's doing all that. And I am going to make myself a pour-over because I almost fell asleep on the couch. It's almost like a midday crash, which is weird. Maybe it's because my body's still getting used to waking up early. Today I woke up at like six, and my body's like, hmm, what are you doing? <laughs> I used to wake up this early. I'm trying not to have caffeine too late in the day. It's only 3.27, so I'm still good. Sometimes I'll have uh, matcha. I've been loving matcha. But right now I just want like a good cup of coffee, especially now that I took my cute little Christmas mugs out. I just use a regular spice grinder to grind up my beans. It's not ideal because it's not going to grind your beans uniformly, but for pour over, I'm not that picky, honestly. These I got from Target, Hearth Hand and Magnolia a few years ago. I want to say two years ago, maybe. I haven't loved, like I looked at Target this year. I haven't loved anything that they have this year. I looked online though, I got to say. We, I haven't been to Target in like over a year because we don't have a Target closer than like an hour. And I was looking online and I just couldn't, I bought all their toys, their Christmas toys. 90% of them are from Target, so that's awesome. Plus, they had like 25% off of one toy. But in terms of like decor, I mean, there were some cute things, but I don't know. I didn't like really find anything. But anywho, I did get these mugs at Target as well as this actual pour over, which they don't have anymore. I checked online. 
Sometimes it comes back in stock, but currently it is not in stock. But honestly, any pour over situation will do. And for a cup this size, I weigh out like 21, you can do 17 to 21 grams of beans. And you want it to be, I do medium fine. The finer you go, the more resistance you're gonna have for the water to go through. The more coarse you go, then the water's just gonna flow right through. You're not gonna get as much flavor. It's not gonna be as balanced. So I do like medium fine. And for coffee, I like to do a light roast because the really funky flavors really come through in a pour over coffee style. This I got at Walmart. I wanna see last year they had a gingerbread house one. I wish I picked that one up, but I passed on it and then it came back and it was gone. I'm just gonna dump my beans into here and blend it for like 15 seconds. I get these little guys off of Amazon. They're unbleached paper filters for specifically for pour over. Dump this in here. It's a little bit of effort, but pour over is such a a gorgeous cup of coffee makes such a gorgeous cup of coffee now for the actual pour over part once the water boils i add just enough water to cover the coffee grounds and then let it bloom for like 30 seconds this is called blooming and you're supposed to go in like circular motions but honestly i'm not that particular i'm using a spice grinder for goodness sake and once it blooms for 30 seconds you just add in more water slowly in slow like circular motions and that is your pour over it's a pretty simple process it's just you know not like the click of a button but the results are worth it in my opinion always 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 use half and half for my coffee for me it's the only way to go milk just makes your coffee like gray toned and it's not enough fat content so you have to use half and half in my opinion to get the full experience so like the perfect coffee color. Taste test. Mm, so smooth. And you really get those funky flavors when you do pour over with light roast versus espresso. Espresso, the you don't get the flavor profile as much. Cheers. Now that my kids are done with school, I'm going to finish the two stools here. My fault for deciding to get white stools. They're super cute. These boucle ones right here, but so much maintenance. I just did one of the stools so far. Let me show you the water. This is just from the top. That is crazy. <laughs> it's so dirty and gross. And it's like just from the top. This is why having something like this, it's like a house necessity. It's next to in line having a vacuum in my opinion. This is like a necessity. If you own a house to spot clean at least, at least like once a month I would say at minimum it's just so nice to have you could definitely do the rug with it but it would just take forever like I tried doing this rug because this rug is so gross so much traffic in and out but it would just take way too much effort if you want to do rugs I would say get like a carpet cleaner that you can rent at Lowe's for like 40 bucks or something and then you just buy the solution and for this solution I use this one brand let me show you I really like it I use their all multi all-purpose spray the brand is called natural riches five guards it's an essential oil blend cleaner this is one that i use for the carpet and then this is one that i use for a household cleaner like an all-purpose cleaner i got the lemon scent i tried their lavender one their original but i've tried quite a few i really like the lemon one i did like the lavender as well and the original and they're such great like natural type cleaners i purchased this probably at least like five times at this point and then this is my first time trying this and I do like it. It works well. I'll link these down below because I think they're amazing and they are concentrated, both of these, so you just need a little bit and then add in water. I have like a glass bottle that I got but I'm just going to finish this stool here and I'll be done. Maybe I'll do the back of the couch. We'll see. We'll see if I'm feeling up for it. I just got my candlelight church service candles. You know the ones that you use for Christmas Eve service? Do you remember using these? Yeah. I found them on Amazon because my I mentioned this in a previous vlog, we're doing my dad's 80th birthday. I saw this picture where they tied a bunch of candles with a ribbon and that was like the cake, candle cake that the birthday person would blow out instead of having the candles on the cake so that the person's not blowing on the cake. I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. The first ones that I bought, I showed them in the vlog, they were wax candles and they were way too small so 80 candles would be like yay wide and it would just look so weird. Um, so I returned those. Well, actually, I haven't returned them. They're still in the car. I have to return them. Got these instead. Ooh, so cute. I think these are going to be perfect. Except for if I do 80, 80 of them, it's probably it's going to be a pretty. I'm going to put it in like a cake stand, and then tie it with black ribbon. I have black ribbon, and I think it's going to look really cute. It comes with these as well. Not that I'm going to use it for this, but I think these will be perfect. It is eight o'clock, and I put the kids to bed. 
They're not sleeping, sleeping yet, but they're gonna fall asleep any minute now. And I think I'm gonna watch a Christmas movie. I saw some new ones are coming to Netflix. I love like the cheesy Hallmark Christmas movies. One of my favorites to watch with my girls every Christmas is, I think it's called Christmas Prince and then Princess Switch. <laughs> and because they have like a, I think there's like three in each movie, three series, and they're so like cute and wholesome. They got the Christmas vibes, definitely so cheesy, but I love those kind of movies for the holidays. My husband doesn't like watching them, so I usually just watch them alone, or if they're like appropriate, I'll watch them with my girls. But yeah, we have officially kicked off fallness here, so it's still fall, but it's Christmas, and Thanksgiving is gonna come around, and then it's gonna be like full blown. Christmas holiday season. The best time of year. All right, I'm gonna close out this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope to see you guys in future videos.